Hello children. Today we are studying a very interesting topic that is probability. As you know from your class 9th that the probability what you have completed is experimental. Experimental means suppose you throw 50 coins simultaneously and out of 50 maybe 24 as heads and 26 maybe tails. But if you increase up to 500 it may be 245 and 255 heads and tails and if you go for 1000 or 2000 or 5000 then it is approximately to 50 50 that is heads and tails half and half so in the experimental probability in class 9th it is said to be empirical probability or the experimental probability and that time the formula was probability equal to number of trials in which event happen divided by total number of trials kitni baar apne coins ko uchala 500 times experiment karke dekha and then you realize number of heads and number of tails correct here in the class 10th is direct formula approach formula approaching means theoretical or classical probability here the formula is the probability of an event equals to number of outcomes favorable to E that is event number of all possible outcomes of the experiment for example if you throw a dice then total number of outcomes 1 2 3 4 5 6 and suppose your choice is I want 6 it means one choice you are favorable answer is 1 by 6 suppose I have a pack of 52 cards and I want to select only king that's why favorable four kings but total cards 52 so probability is equals to 4 by 52 next suppose I have a bowl in which 10 almonds and 5 apricots my selection by the way I want apricot then its chance is only one but there are total five so possibility is increasing answer is 5 divided by 15 because total items 15 but my favorable 5 and out of 5 any 1 will come answer is 5 by 15 suppose I have this 4 topics lockdown me mil nahi so I have these 4 toffees 2 center fresh 1 is pan pasand and one is melody I want to select any one and my choice is center fresh then answer is 2 by 4 because the chances of center fresh is more because here we have 2 and others are 1 and 1 that's why the probability is 2 by 4 is a class 10th classical or theoretical approach direct applying the formula suppose next time the balls very important physical fitness we have Three, three green balls, two red balls and one tennis yellow ball. We mix up all the balls inside the bucket and I want to select my choice red ball. Then the red ball choice out of how many balls? Six balls. Out of six red balls two. It means favorable are two. But total are 6. So answer is 2 by 6. Simple. So one or more. Two more examples. I have this 4, 5, 6, 7, 5 rupees coins. 7. The answer is 7, 5 rupee coins. 4, 1 rupee coins. 4, 1 rupee coins. And 2, 10 rupee coins. So here we write 10 rupee coins only 2, 1 rupee coin 4, and 5 rupee coin 7. Suppose I want my selection, I want to give you 10 coins. How many coins of rupees 10? 2. So favorable cases only 2. And how many total coins in this plate? 7 and 4, 11, 12, 13. 
So answer of this event. What event? I want 10 rupee coin. So for me, the event is 10 rupee coin. Suppose your selection, you want 5 rupee coin. Then your selection, your event is 5 rupee coin. By the way, F. 5 rupee coins are 7. Answer is 7 by 13. It's a different event. Somebody wants 1 rupee coin. Then his favorable, 4 coins. But the total coin remain 13. Answer is 4 by 13. If a person having a chance of 1 rupee coin is 4 by 13, then complement of this one. Complement means we don't want G, but all others need it. Ye coin ni anachi 1 rupee wala, baki sab kuch aja. Then it means 1 minus 4 by 13. Answer is 9 by 13. Jo hona chahiye, uske alawa jo nahi hona chahiye. Dono ki probability ka total kya hota hai? 1. Head ana. Sikke ko uchala. Head ana, probability is half. Or head nahi ana? 1 minus half. That is again half. Correct. So in this type of cases, we have to deal in this chapter. So many daily life related things we have to use. The chapter is probability. Now some important definitions. The first is probability of an event. What is probability? Probability means uncertainty. It may be rain. Lockdown may be open on 3rd of May. God knows. Uncertainty are there. Then what we say? Today, probable, it may be rains. So these type of things are said to be probability in our daily life. Random experiment. What is random experiment? We are taking 6-7 balls inside the bucket and we are taking one ball. Is a random experiment. We have some coins or some eatables or cards. These are random experiment. Next is equally likely outcome. Simple, just fair coin. You know what is head and what is tails. But in the shole, they mix up the two coins like this. This side heads and this side also heads. This is not equally likely coin. Is it? Not a fair coin. Because every time Jai starts and every time heads. Is a not a fair coin. Fair coin means equally likely. Equally likely means agar head anega chance 1 by 2 hai, to tails anega chance be 1 by 2. In your class, 50 students are sitting. 15 are girls, 35 boys. I want to select a monitor. If I am not a partial person, then all having 1 by 50 chance that he or she will become a monitor. 1 by 50. Because anybody can. Yes. But if partiality is there, I want to select a particular student, then it is not equally likely. Equally likely means everyone has that common chance. Equal chance is a equally likely. So what about the Shole coin? Is equally likely? No. Never. Is a partial coin. Unfair coin. Next is an event associated with a random experiment. Event associated with the random experiment. You want one rupee coin. You are event with this experiment. Coins from this plate. A event. My chance, my favorable 10 rupee is event for me. Plate is the same. Coins are the same. But events are different. Choices are different. Event associated with the random experiment. The last point is complementary. Complementary of event means probability of G is 4 by 13. Then probability of not happening of G is 1 minus 4 by 13. That is 9 by 13. Probability of happening plus probability of not happening always 1. It means probability of happening plus probability of not happening equals to 1. Kisi cheez ka hona or kisi cheez ka nahi hona ka total hamisha kya hoga 1. For example, if you throw a dice, there are six cases. This is said to be 
सैंपल स्पेस क्या पॉसिबिलिटीज है क्या आउटकम्स है क्या क्या हो सकता है वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स माई इवेंट वॉट आई वॉन्ट इवन नंबर सो प्रॉबिलिटी फॉर इवेंट ई दैट आई वॉन्ट इवन नंबर हाउ मेनी इवेंट्स टू फोर एंड सिक्स सो फॉर मी हाउ मेनी फेवरेबल्स थ्री बट टोटल नंबर सिक्स आंसर इज हाफ वॉट इज कॉम्प्लीमेंट ऑफ दिस वन इवन नहीं आने चाहिए देन कॉम्प्लीमेंट इज नथिंग बट वन माइनस हाफ अगेन हाफ Correct. So compliment means not happening. What is given in the event? Now we come to the some good questions based on probability. First is if we throw two coins simultaneously. If we throw two coins simultaneously, it means maybe H H. Dono coin me head aage. Do coin me chalke dekhe. दो कॉइन अपन उछाले क्या क्या केस हो सकते हैं दीज आर द आउटकम्स मे बी बोथ एच मे बी एच टी मे बी टी टी एंड मे बी लास्ट दीज आर फोर पॉसिबिलिटीज नो अदर पॉसिबिलिटी वेन वी थ्रो टू कॉइंस दीज आर दिस सेट टू बी सैंपल स्पेस माई इवेंट वॉट आई वॉन्ट both hats i want probability of both hats it means answer of my probability is 1 out of 4 correct suppose i want the second event both tails then probability of f 1 by 4 but suppose i want one hats g event one hat and one head means one head one head answer of probability of g event is 2 by 4 that is half and the most important bachche bahut confused hote hain isme even class 12th tak at least one head at least one head tell me the answer of at least one head one head means one head bhi chalega aur two head bhi chalega वन हेड भी चलेगा और टू हेड भी चलेगा आंसर इज थ्री बाय फोर करेक्ट एंड वन क्वेश्चन फॉर योर होमवर्क द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट एट मोस्ट टू हेड्स ज्यादा से ज्यादा टू हेड्स आने चाहिए इसका मतलब क्या होगा जियो हेड भी चलेगा वन हेड भी चलेगा टू हेड भी चलेगा आंसर फोर बाय फोर श्योर इवेंट सो नोट डाउन द प्रॉबिलिटी ऑफ द श्योर इवेंट हंड्रेड परसेंट श्योर आएगा ही probability of sure event is 1 it is said to be sure event 100% and sometime koi cheez hogi nahi then the probability of f event by the way zero it is said to be impossible event impossible event correct so probability is lying always in between zero and सबसे इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट है कभी आपका आंसर आ जाए 3.2 पॉइंट टू हाउ इट इज पॉसिबल दैट यू आर गेटिंग ट्वेल्व मार्क्स आउट ऑफ टेन यू आर गेटिंग थर्टी टू मार्क्स आउट ऑफ थर्टी नॉट पॉसिबल यू मे गेट जीरो मार्क्स आउट ऑफ थर्टी और यू मे गेट थर्टी ऑफ ऑफ थर्टी मार्क्स इट मीन दिस आंसर इज जीरो एंड दिस आंसर इज वन बट ऑल अदर स्टूडेंट गेटिंग द मार्क्स इन साइड द लिमिट जीरो टू थर्टी सो मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट जब भी आंसर आ जाए हमेशा चेक करेंगे कि प्रॉबिलिटी का आंसर जीरो से कहीं नेगेटिव या वन से कहीं बड़ा तो नहीं वहीं चेक करने लग जाओ इसका मतलब कहीं गलती करिए करेक्ट अब हम आते हैं डाइस के क्वेश्चन पर एक डाइस कितने फेस होते हैं लॉकडाउन में तो सब खेल रहे हैं ना कि नहीं खेल रहे लॉकडाउन मीन्स इंडोर गेम्स इंडोर गेम्स मीन्स लूडो हाउजी चेस कार्ड्स सो आई थिंक एवरीबडी इज यूटिलाइजिंग दिस लॉकडाउन पीरियड विथ प्रॉबेबिलिटी ढेरों क्वेश्चन कर रहे हैं आप प्रॉबिलिटी के डेली है ना गुड 
so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 total number of cases. Suppose I want my favorable this time prime numbers and prime numbers you know 2, 3 and 5. Total sample space you know 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now tell me what is the probability of prime number. Getting a prime number answer is 3 by 6 that is half. So what is the probability of not getting a prime number? 1 minus half. Again half. Suppose an event. Probability is 0 0.992. Tell me what is the probability of not happening of E. That is 1 minus 0 0.992. Answer is 0 0.008. Correct. So these type of simple questions you can complete today itself after seeing this video or probability me to daily kuch na kuch enjoyment kuch na kuch achhi achhi cheeze aayengi aur aap jaldi se seekh jayenge correct to probability kal hum leke aayenge ek agla topic probability ke andar hi thode aur achhe tarike ke question correct tab tak padhte rahiye aage badhte rahiye aur lockdown ka maza lete rahiye magar course aage badhte rahiye goodbye take care